Hello friends. It is a little after eight in the morning and Forrest and I are at Carolina Beach Campground, Carolina Beach near Wilmington. Can't really see it yet, but that's snow cut over there and there's a lot of boat traffic. I can't see it from my campsite, but I hear that there are views from this trail that I'm on, which is just a little short trail, about a mile or so, but a good workout on flat terrain for my foot. So we're out for a lovely morning walk. Well, here's a nice view of snow cut. And just over that way is the bridge. It's kind of hard to see. I came across that bridge yesterday to get over to the island where Carolina Beach and Cure Beach are. And over that way is the Cape Fear River. And I hope to get out and explore in that area a little bit, not on the water, just mainly walking today. I am here all week. It's Tuesday now and I don't have to leave till Friday, which is nice. And there are nine miles of trails in this area and Forrest sees something. Wait, buddy. He's excited too, <laughs> very excited. But yeah, there's a total of nine miles of trails here. This one is only about a mile out and back. Um, so, you know, two miles if I do the whole thing. And I am just gradually working up, building up strength in my foot. I still do feel the tendon issue a little bit and um, want to make sure that I don't overdo it. So this weekend when Andy and I were um, out near Lake Alatoona exploring some Civil War sites. I think I did about two to three miles a day with a lot of just kind of stop and start and very gradual walks. Walks flat terrain pretty much, a little bit of hills and, and it did well. So I'm encouraged by that. I definitely don't want to have to reboot and put my boot back on. So I'm taking it easy and just trying to build up strength and distance and endurance so that I can tackle some big hiking plans that I have for the summer. And I'm not going to share them yet because they're very ambitious, but if it starts to look like I might actually be able to do it, I will let you know what I'm up to because it's really exciting. I did not realize there was public access to this trail in the park. It's in the state park and I came into the state park entrance, but I guess if you're local and you know where to go, you can start right here. This is definitely a pretty little trail, lots of oaks and pines for shade. Although, even though it's near the water and there's a bit of a breeze, I can imagine it could get really hot in the summertime. I just stumbled on all those birds there, drying their wings. And I'm not an expert, but I think they're vultures by their red heads. And I suspect as we continue down the trail, they are going to take off. The last little bit of trail here has these extra markers. It says, uh, Kids Parks Track Trail, and it is an interpretive trail, and I think you can pick up a brochure at the visitor center that points out certain landmarks for kids, uh, just educational information, which actually would probably be pretty interesting for adults too. And it's just this last segment of the trail that comes out, I haven't been there yet, but <laughs> comes out near the picnic area. There's some gorgeous old magnolias in this area. They are tall. I hear woodpeckers. I saw in the campground information that there is a birding hike tomorrow morning, I think at 8 a.m. And I was debating whether I should do it or not, because obviously Forrest can't go. <laughs> but I think I might if I'm up early. It'd be a lot of fun, and I've already seen a couple of hikers out with bird books and binoculars, so this must be a good place to see lots of different kinds of birds. We made it to the picnic area, and here is some information for kiddos. Brochures that they can use to learn about the trail and the environment as they go. And we're going to turn around and head back because this campground is 0.3. I think my campsite's maybe closer to 0.5 because I'm on the other end of it. And it's a pretty big campground, but doing good so far. Enjoy in the morning. Well, here we are back at camp. Get our own private little trail to access the trail, which is kind of neat. And we did about two miles, so my foot's feeling pretty good, a little achy, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a rest while we tour 
the area in the van. I'll get out again tomorrow doing some different trails and hope that the training and conditioning works out well. Thanks for watching.